Ever get that feeling, you know, like you stumble on something and it just clicks? Mm -hmm. I was reading this piece actually on meditation yeah, okay. and it really grabbed my attention, the idea that just being still, even for a few minutes, could actually make a difference in, well, you know, how you feel, your well-being. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting, you know, and, and the, what I think is really striking is there's actually a lot of science now that backs it up. Right. It's not just a mystical thing. Exactly. And this piece, it really dives into three main benefits, I think. Uh, stress reduction, better sleep, and sharper focus. So let's kind of unpack those a little bit. I'm, for one, always looking for anything that promises less stress. Yeah. But what's actually going on in our brains when we meditate that chills us out? Well, you can almost picture your nervous system kind of like, you know, as, yeah. as having these two modes. Okay. You know, there's that fight or flight. Yeah. And then there's the rest and digest. Right. And so often when we're stressed, we get stuck in that survival mode. Yeah. You know, your body's pumping out cortisol. Right. Meditation is almost like a switch. It helps shift us towards that rest and digest mode. Mm. It actually lowers cortisol, which is huge. Wow. Slows your heart rate, even reduces blood pressure. You're basically giving your system a break, you know, which we all need. Totally. So we're really literally hitting the brakes on that stress response. Exactly. I like that. Okay, so the piece also mentioned better sleep. Right. And I don't know about you, but I think we could all use a little help in that department. What's the connection there? Absolutely. So remember I was talking about cortisol. Yeah. That's actually a stimulating hormone. Oh, okay. So we need it to be lower to fall asleep. Gotcha. What meditation does is it helps to regulate our sleep-wake cycles. It's kind of like resetting your internal clock. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. And finally, there's this whole focus thing. I mean, the source claims that meditation can boost your concentration, but how does that like even work. Yeah, it does. It seems a little counterintuitive, you know? You're just sitting still to improve focus. Y you know, it's funny because I, I think about it this way. Like, imagine your mind is like a snow globe. Okay. And your thoughts are all those little flakes swirling around. Yeah. What mindfulness meditation does, and it's really about paying attention to the present moment, it helps all those flakes settle so you can actually see what's underneath. You know, mm -hmm. it's like a workout you know, for your attention span. I love that analogy. Yeah, it's like training your brain to stay present. <laughs> okay, so we're talking about feeling calmer, sleeping better, and thinking more clearly. And it's all from just taking a few moments of stillness. It does sound almost too good to be true, right? Yeah, it does sound a bit like a magic bullet. Yeah. And while there is a lot of promising research out there, it's important to remember everybody's different, right? Right. You know, some people might feel like a profound difference right away. Sure. Some people, it might take a little bit of time or they may have to try different techniques. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely not one size fits all. Right. But even if it's not like an instant fix, I mean, the potential benefits, you really can't ignore those. And one thing I did find really encouraging is this idea that you don't have to become a meditation master. Absolutely not. You know, to actually experience the benefit. Yeah, and that's what's so great about it. You don't have to quit your job and go live in an ashram somewhere right. you know, to reap the benefits. Even a few minutes a day can make a world of difference. And there's so many ways to make it part of your routine. You know, right. You can try a guided meditation app, maybe um, Focus on your breath while you're commuting, or even just take a mindful moment while you're having your morning coffee. That's such a good point. It's really about, you know, what works for you and what you can actually stick with. Exactly, exactly. I also love how this piece ended with just a really thought-provoking question. Oh, yeah. It said, how might meditation improve your life? You know, that's such a great question because it really asks us to kind of think about our own needs. You know, like what are some of the areas where you feel the most stressed or where could you use a little more focus or where could you benefit from better sleep? Right. Meditation can be that tool to kind of help address those things, Yeah. you know, that come up. It's really about figuring out how it fits into your life. Yeah. It's not about, you know, forcing yourself into some kind of mold that doesn't work. Right. And with that in mind, we'll leave you with one final thought. If just a few minutes of stillness each day could impact your well-being. What's, you know, one small step maybe that you could take today to just explore what meditation could be in your life?